Hi, it's Diederik Elderman here. I just want to introduce you in a second to Buddy. And today I want to contrast Buddy and what he's got with the surgery we did about uh, 12 or 13 weeks ago now. If you remember my dog, Jack, he had a fibrocanthomatous epulus. That's a big mouthful of a word. Um, epulis, E-P-U-L-I-S. Epulis is, is a form of growth on the gum and fibrocanthomatous is the specific type, and that is cancerous. If you remember, I had to take his uh, front third of his jaw off, and he's doing fabulously well. And I want to contrast that mass on Jack with Buddy here. Buddy is uh, the same age as Jack. He's 14, and, and Jack is 14. I'm just going to turn this light off so you can get a good look at this. So let me just get some. So he's in here for a number of reasons today. Uh, what, the last of the reasons is this lump here on his jaw or on his gum. So that is an, an epulis, just like Jack had, but this is a normal epulis. It's benign, it's not cancerous, and we're simply going to cut that out. If you have a look at his teeth, that, if you have a look at that back teeth there, it's nice and white. If you have a look at that tooth there, it's nice and white. If you have a look at those teeth here, they are absolutely brown, they're disgusting, and if we had a smell camera, uh, it would blow you out of the room. So we're about to cut this epulis out. You can see it's quite large, um, and you can actually watch me do it if you like. So we're simply going to get in here with a scalpel and cut it out. There's nothing fancy about this. Come on, do you reckon you can just hold that jaw or wipe that uh, lip away there? There's nothing fancy about this. We're simply going to cut it out and um, remove it. It, it, um, it. it is causing all sorts of issues just by covering the teeth. This is not a malignant one like Jack's. And so we don't have to do a jaw amputation like Jack's. This is just simply a growth of soft of, of gum. But, you know, have a look at your dog's teeth regularly. Open his mouth regularly. So that's, that's it here. Um, it's just warty, fleshy tissue. So open your dog's mouth and regularly have a look at what's going on in his or her mouth. And you can, we'll clean these teeth up in a sec as well. But then epulis is now gone. Um, gum bleeds like crazy, so that's okay. It'll stop in a sec. We'll put some pressure on that. Just cut a little bit more away here. So the, the, the take home story, the take home message is look in your dog's mouth regularly, both for dental issues, tooth issues, and these epulidity, which is the, the plural. Um, and if you notice a lump, it, it may be benign like this one. This dog could have lived with this thing the whole time. At his age, um, we wouldn't have removed it, but he had to go under anaesthetic for some other bits and pieces, and that's why we're taking out. So, um, you know, give us a chance to have a look at your guy's mouth or your gal's mouth to, if there are lumps in there, to, to see whether it's a benign epulis like this one or one of the nasty fibrocanthomatous or other kinds of uh, epulidity that other dogs get. So that's it for today. See you on the next video.